Hi guys, my name is Alberto. Welcome to the Bedroom Rocker YouTube channel. Last week at NAMM 2020, Chunotes released the brand new Torpedo Captor X, so it's the perfect time for me to finally review its older analog brother, the Torpedo Captor, and then talk about the differences and the new features of the Capture X. So first I'm gonna go through all the functionality of the Torpedo Captor, and if you are familiar with this unit, feel free to skip this part. Then I'm gonna make a sound comparison of the analog cup simulation of the Captor and input responses. We then go through the list of new functionalities of the Captor X and discuss about the price point of each one of the units. This guy is really a backbone of my studio, I record 90% of my videos with it, I really like to play tube amps and this makes it very easy and convenient to play and record tube amps in an environment like this. So without further ado, let's go! The Torpedo Captor is a load box, attenuator, speaker simulation and DI out in one unit, so let's quickly run through each one of these functions. Most tube or valve amps require a load to be connected to them, otherwise you end up burning your output transformer and damaging the amp. In most cases this load would be the speaker cabinet, which is often at 8 or 16 ohm, but the Torpedo Captor can directly replace them. Uh, moreover, it serves as a reactive load, so it really attempts to recreate the interactive relationship that the output transformer of the amp would have with a speaker cabinet. Tube amps typically sound their best when they're played loud. However, the sweet spot is very often above the volumes that you can actually play in your bedroom, in a studio and even in a live band situation. The 4 power attenuation attempts to dissipate some of this power and allow you to crank the amp without getting its full volume. The Torpedo Capture has two speaker outs, one is just a speaker true without any attenuation and the second output has a 20 dB attenuation. So 20 dB would be enough to bring a 15 to 20 watt amplifier down to bedroom level. So if you have something like an AC15 or a Blues Junior, this will make them way more useful at the bedroom. If you have something more powerful like an AC30 or a Hot Rod Deluxe, then uh, you still need a master volume if you really want to crank the preamp gain on those and still keep the master volume up. If you have a non-master volume 50 or 100 watt plexi, uh, this will still be useful to take some of the edge of the amp in a studio, but it will definitely not bring them down to, to bedroom level. The Torpedo Capture has two built-in analog speaker simulations, one for guitar and one for bass. So this allows you to take a line out with the speaker simulation, for example into an audio interface for recording or into the front of house into the PA system for live performances. So you can record and perform without having to stick a microphone in front of your cabinet and even without using a cabinet at all, so just getting your sound uh, through your monitors. However, keep in mind that these are analog speaker simulations, they are not impulse responses and we'll come back to that in a minute. For the outputs, we get a dry line out via TRS connection and also the DI out with or without the speaker simulation via XLR. We can also use this XLR connection to power the unit via phantom power uh, or alternatively we can use the DC connection. However, this is just required for the DI and for the speaker simulation. Uh, so the reactive load and attenuation features are completely passive and don't require any power supply. Besides the analog speaker simulations, you can also use input responses with the Captor. At home or at the studio, you can use the free Wall of Sound plugin. When you buy the Captor, you gain a lot of nice IRs of different cabinets to use with it. However, if you want to do this live, you need to have an external IR loader. And this could be, for example, the True Note Torpedo Cap M. So one of the nicest additions to the new Torpedo Captor X is that it already has an inbuilt IR loader to it, with a bunch of nice presets. To show you the difference, I've recorded two sound clips, a clean one and an overdriven one. So first I'm gonna play through the Captor's analog cap simulation, and then I'm gonna play through some impulse responses loaded via the Wall of Sound plugin. For the clean sound, I'm gonna use the IR of a Fender Vibrolux cabinet with Oxford speaker, and for the overdriven one, uh, Friedman 4x12 loaded with selection green bags and vintage 30s. For each one of the IRs, I used two close mics, two room mics, and I added a bit of compression and some reverb. So let's check it out.
So let me know which one was your favorite, make sure to write in the comments below. I think the analog cab simulation is useful, but I definitely prefer the impulse responses. So I think the analog cab sim has a very close mic key feel, so it's almost like if you had your ear really close to the, to the speaker cabinet, it's very punchy, kind of aggressive, uh, it will make your guitar be heard in a mix. Uh, but with the IRs, you have the ability to deal in some room mic and some reverb, and this will soften the edges a little bit and make your guitar much more three-dimensional and bigger. It is also obviously uh, stereo. Uh, besides that, with the analog cab simulation, you only have one sound. So this may work for some of your sounds, it may not work for some other sounds, and you cannot change that. With the impulse responses, you can obviously uh, tweak uh, each one of your presets to a specific setup. So you can have uh, one set for your clean sound, another cabinet set for your crunchy sound, your lead sound, and so on and so forth. So it's endless uh, tweakability. The new Captor X has many new features that were not available in the original Captor. Here I made a quick list of the ones I found most important. So first of all, it is an IR loader. So it has six presets and 32 virtual cabinets that you can load in the unit and this makes it much more useful for live performance. Uh, it also has got stereo reverb and you can dial this at the unit itself. And also it has got a voicing switch. So this is basically a master presence control. So if you find your sound is kind of lost in the mix, you can right away just add some, uh, some more presence and make it cut through. Uh, you also got a headphone output, so this is something everybody mentioned. It was uh, really missing in the original capture. Uh, so for uh, direct monitoring or for uh, recording at home, just playing and having fun at home. Uh, also, it has got one further level of attenuation. So besides 20, you can also attenuate at 38 uh, dB. It has got Bluetooth connectivity, so you can use the Torpedo Remote app to fine-tune your presets in your mobile or in your tablet. Uh, also, many routing possibilities, so you can route a stereo or you can route a dual mono signal or also a dry wet signal, so sending one signal with the impulse response and one dry signal. Uh, it also has got this very cool new twin tracker, which is an automatic uh, double tracker that essentially repeats everything that you're playing, but with a small delay and variation so that it sounds uh, real and makes your guitar sound uh, huge. Uh, also it has got an enhancer which is basically a dynamic uh, EQ and compression so that the bedroom rocker like me and you can add in some magic to the tone without any knowledge of sound engineering and also a noise gate. Uh, so that's a lot of new stuff. The original capture will remain on the market. Right now it sells for 230 euros here in Europe and if you add that to the price of an external IR loader, such as the Torpedo Cap M, it adds up almost to the same as the suggested price for the Captor X. And the Captor X has got all these nice uh, new features. There are also not many alternatives in the market. I could only think of the Sir Reactive Load IR, uh, but this unit is more expensive and doesn't have as many features. So I think this will appeal mainly for live performance. So if you wanna play your two bumps live, and have uh, direct out with an impulse response sent to front of house. Uh, and it obviously will appeal to anyone who can afford it. I mean, it is expensive, but at the same time you get many nice uh, new features. I would love to try one. Uh, with that being said, the original capture remains as a very solid uh, entry-level unit for home or bedroom recording, also for a studio, uh, any situation where you can have uh, the wall of sound plugin or your IR loader of choice loaded into your digital audio workstation. So that was it. In the video description below, you'll find affiliate links to the Torpedo Captor and Captor X. If you use them, I get a small commission that really helps me to get more products at no additional cost for you. Also, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more guitar and gear related content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to stay tuned. Keep on rocking and cheers.